Pertama saya nak nyatakan bahawa uh, saya sudah pun membuat uh, kenyataan uh, tengah hari tadi um, Saya ulangi bahawa ini satu uh, statement yang uh, ataupun satu uh, pendedahan yang uh, belum pernah berlaku dalam sejarah uh, negara kita uh, Kedua uh, bahawa saya pada ketika itu merupakan Uh, seorang sitting prime minister dan sama ada mana-mana pihak ada hak untuk membuat wiretapping uh, conversation yang dilakukan oleh seorang Perdana Menteri uh, lebih-lebih lagi dengan ketua kerajaan yang lain uh, ini boleh memberi kesan kepada hubungan diplomatik uh, dan kepentingan Malaysia dengan negara lain Kenapa dan mengapa dirilis tape ini pada saat ini Sebab ini berlaku lima tahun dahulu Apakah motifnya? Apakah ini ada kaitan dengan pilihan raya kecil Kimanis dan sebagainya Jadi inilah persoalan-persoalan yang perlu diberi sesuatu ketetapan ataupun jawapan yang tuntas Sementara tu kita belum kaji sepenuhnya tip ataupun uh, pendedahan tersebut uh, Jadi uh, peguam saya akan buat kenyataan uh, pada sebagai holding statement dulu Selepas kita kaji dan kita akan fikirkan apa tindakan yang sewajarnya diambil uh, Terhadap uh, apa yang telah dilakukan oleh Ketua Perusahaan Jaya SPRN Datuk Sri, uh, dalam pengalaman Datuk Sri, uh, agensi mana dalam negara ini yang mampu buat way taping terhadap seorang Perdana Menteri? Ada, saya tidak boleh disclose tapi dia mesti ikut peraturannya. Mesti ikut peraturan. Sama ada dalam kes ni ikut peraturan, kita akan siasat. Datuk Sri, who do you think will be called the government? This is what we want to find out. Okay? Adakah mungkin... Um, Sama ada is illegal or illegal? If it's illegal, then they have to answer for it. Adakah mungkin uh, salah satu tindakan yang Datuk Seri uh, pertimbangkan mungkin untuk su? Apa-apa nanti lah dulu. Saya biar saya kaji dulu. Don't preempt what I'm going to do. Okay? okay. Tapi the timing of the release looks very very suspicious. Tapi kalau dia tap tu tak salah tapi uh, mungkin pada Datuk Seri dia merilis pada public tu salah. Tak, tak salah ke tap tap apa wire tap uh, Perdana Menteri punya telefon. Kata, uh, kalau tidak akan datang semua Perdana Menteri punya telefon boleh di tap tau. Are you encouraging that? Okay? okay. Right. My, my, my okay. lawyer uh, will me. You be, will you worry that you will affect your case so many trials, especially when you are in defense for this SRC case? No, we, we will uh, study it first. Uh, maybe some of the content uh, might be useful for us in our defense. Okay? Datuk Seri, salah satu tu adalah recording uh, Datuk Seri apa ni marahi katanya oleh Datin Seri Rosma. Marahi? Uh, tak ada, tak ada marahi, tak ada. Conversation between my wife and I, private. You pun sembah dengan wife you, kan? I mean, what's wrong with that? That is a, it's a, a, a right of every citizen. Tak discuss apa, as long as kita tak bocor kepada kalayak ramai. Discussing about what happened in everyday affair is a normal thing. Kelihatan yeah. beliau seperti menasihatkan Datuk Seri tentang the country's affairs. How to run the government. No, no, no. no, no. I, you know, Semua boleh beri pandangan. Tak ada masalah. Tapi saya buat keputusan. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. 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 Thank 100% of the time except for this time is that when they acquire uh, particulars 
uh, information and especially evidence. This is purported evidence that they say they uh, recovered or rather discovered. Now, normally, what they would do is to lodge a police report or MACC report and then they will do confidential investigation. They will not release it to the public because the investigation itself is confidential. In fact, uh, Latifa Koya said, these are official secrets that uh, Tansi Zul apparently was discussing. She is guilty of the same thing because these matters are still to be investigated. And the worst thing is, she released all this information by playing it to the public when she herself knew her agency is not going to investigate. She said she's passing the entire investigation to the police. So what she literally have done is she has preempted and, and, and emptied the investigation file of the police that is about to investigate. She has disclosed information. The police will now investigate on something that is already in the public domain. So that, I think, is a very serious breach by herself. Right? Secondly, I think, uh, we, we are going to study this very seriously. You can see that there are at least two or three cases that uh, this uh, uh, recording seems to uh, pertain. Clearly, SRC is involved. Uh, one MDB is involved. One other matter is the RISAS uh, matter. RISAS matter, as you know, is also in court. Um, releasing the tapes now and discussing in public in a, in a, in a, med in a media release uh, is in fact subsidies. It is in fact a contempt. We are seriously contemplating a contempt action against MACC, in particular Latifa Koya. Because I think as a lawyer, although she refused to admit that she was also speaking as a lawyer in qualification, as a, as a lawyer, she should know that this was not just merely bordering contempt, it is contemptuous. Yeah? Now, was MACC trying to influence and subdue this, the ongoing trial? Because you can see, I can tell you a few things where this is, this is involved. I'll give you examples of, what, of, of how this can be subjudice. Now, you, you remember she said there was some element of uh, information being fed to a potential suspect. They're talking about that Tansi, uh, at that time it was uh, uh, Zul, uh, Tuan Zul Kifli uh, to Datuk Sri uh, Najib. They say there was a disclosure of what was going on in the investigation and therefore they say there is a potential uh, breach of official secrets by Tansi Zul now. And of course there could be an abatement uh, by uh, Datuk Sri Najib. They say that. Eh? Now then they said uh, that there is, uh, a, 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 and therefore there is a betting of official secrets. Then they say there is a purported attempted fabrication of evidence. You remember how this matter was revealed? She said she was referring to Datuk Sri Najib talking to a head of uh, government somewhere else, overseas, about the fact that Riza actually was given loan. The second part of the conversation she conveniently forgot. Datuk Sri Najib actually said Riza told him that he actually received loan from Sheikh Mansour. But the DOJ has made an issue out of it. Riza wants to document it into a loan agreement. It is not that it is not loan, but I want to make it look like a loan. That will be fabrication. So I don't think MACC understood the law. When she made that statement, obviously she is completely uh, you know, out of focus as to what is fabrication. But she's mentioning all this. All this she's mentioning is to influence with what is going on in the uh, in the one MDB and the SRC case because these are uh, things that makes uh, Datuk Sri Najib less credible or the public and the court may even think well he must be guilty otherwise why is he speaking like that to the head of state why is he speaking like that to his own wife why is he speaking like that with the uh, uh, Tan Sri Zul so these are things that can influence this is what sub is all about and therefore contemptuous. So we are seriously looking into it. Now, other things that, uh, that I find it very puzzling. Latifa Koya said, I have to reveal to you 
the members, the public, you're the first to get it. Not even the Prime Minister, sitting Prime Minister now. But I have to reveal to you because it affects national security. Since when national security you reveal to the public at large? By the nature of its definitions, national security is a matter that is secret, is kept to the agency that investigates. She reveals to the public today what is in fact national security. She is in total breach of official secret side by her own admission. Okay? That is not on. And then you, you, you also notice when you have fresh evidence, um, you you can either adduce it in either of these trials, the two trials, at least where we are involved, or you don't use it. Let the, the body to investigate, investigate it. You can't reveal it outside the court because the question that I will ask is, what is your objective? If you're not going to use it, because you can use it if you want to, if it is useful. I don't think it is useful to them, but the idea is quite purposeful is to um, influence the way this case, the two cases are going on. All right, now, um, then I find it also strange that Latifa Koya, no doubt, she was a full politician before. Maybe uh, habits uh, die hard. She remains a politician even today. Even as a commissioner, she seems to time these statements quite conveniently. Every time we have a Pilihan Raya Kecil, some sort of uh, this kind of issue comes up. And this time is about this tape recording. So is she involved in politics? Is she still interested in how uh, Kimani's will turn out to be? Then she should, you know, resign and go back to politics because you have to make up your mind. All right, but the rest of the things I want to reserve until I look at the tape very, very closely. But I think uh, there is a lot more suspicion. Uh, about who recorded because the capacity to record with such a wide ranging, not just with Datuk Sri Najib, but Datuk Sri Najib with uh, Tan Sri Zul, Datuk Sri Najib with uh, heads of government, whoever does it has got the audacity to breach every single law that I know. Okay? And uh, I have my doubt it is an individual. I think it is, I, I want to hazard to guess, I think it is an inside job. It is an inside job. They have done. Uh, they have done it. They suddenly realize that they need to influence the case, and they purposely leak it. Is there legality in doing this? You know, uh, no. You can't do it. You have got to have authority. Nothing less than from the attorney general side. It could be the attorney general himself. It has to be the solicitor general that gives you permission, or there must be a, a level of security clearance before you actually get the clearance to do wiretapping. Or phone tape. Uh, you can't just tape. Because just now, earlier uh, uh, Dr. King Sri Rosma also said she will pass it to lawyer to handle it. So would your side uh, be discussing with her lawyer? Uh, no, no, no. We'll actions? do it independently. We'll do it independently because our case is quite separate from uh, Dr. Sri Rosma's case. She she has a point, but our case is quite separate. Right? Okay. Right. Any other question? Thank you. 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 Thank you.